All right, so this is basically an update to my initial video on the Cyclopean Guard event from a few days ago. At that time, the event had just come out, and I feel like I hadn't fully figured out uh, my strategy or the best teams to use, right? But since then, I've made some adjustments, and as you guys can see, I have cleared all of the missions. So uh, hopefully if there's anybody out there who is still struggling with any of these stages, then watching me clear them in this video will uh, help you out at least a little bit. Okay, so with that said, let's start by taking a look at the teams we'll be running here. Uh, here we go. And starting with the versus AGL team, as you can see, we have once again a team focused mainly on an attack all unit and the best tech attack all unit in the game right now is this giant ape Vegeta. But in the video from a few days ago, I had both the giant ape Vegeta as well as the tech Majin Vegeta with an Extreme Z Awakening, right? But I figured that, you know, he's not actually that good as an attack all unit. Like he can put out some decent damage, but not anywhere close to the LR giant ape Vegeta, right? So instead of running two attack all units with the Majin Vegeta, we're just going to be using my Majin Vegeta, or rather my giant ape Vegeta, and for the friend, we'll run a second giant ape Vegeta. And then for the rest of the team, as you guys can see, just a bunch of supports to uh, maximize the giant ape Vegeta's damage as much as possible. And for the items, instead of running two nuking items, I'm going to go for the Bulma support item, which provides 25% attack boost for 5 turns. And then the second item will still be uh, any of the nuking items. In this case, since we're running a uh, tech Vegeta, we'll go for the Takoyaki, which changes orbs into tech orbs, right? So here we go. Those are the two items I'll be bringing. And then for the other types here, we have versus Int, which is focused on the attack all units. Uh, LR, Cell, and Cell Juniors, as well as the Fizz Raditz, which is actually pretty useful here. So he's actually good for something in this game. And then we have the reversed Fizz Broly, so that he doesn't transform after four turns. And then uh, a couple of supports, right? And for the versus Fizz team, exact same deal. We got STR LR Broly. The friend will be another STR LR Broly. And uh, he's just going to absolutely destroy this event. This is by far the easiest type just because of how dominant Broly is, right? And then versus Tech. Uh, I actually tried many times to run the into Raditz as our main attack all. And I'm not going to lie, he doesn't do too bad. He can get you through probably the first four phases, but his damage output is just way too low against the fifth phase when you only have one turn, right? So... This is the team we're going to go with instead. I realized after, uh, you know, a lot of trial and error, as well as talking to people, that uh, this guy's active skill is actually the best attack all option um, within the int typing, right? So just run double int Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta's, and uh, he should be able to get you through the full event. It still requires a bit of RNG, but uh, I think this setup is probably your best bet for versus tech, okay? And then lastly, we have versus SDR, and it's essentially the same team. We got the uh, LR Maja Vegeta, and also the LR Nappa and Vegeta for attack all. And then for the friend, I'm going to be bringing a second LR Maja Vegeta. So since we're on the versus AGL, let's just start here, and let's see how this goes. There we go. Now, I was lucky enough to find a rainbow giant ape Vegeta friend. Um, as you guys know, the friend system still sucks, so it might take you multiple refreshes to find a giant ape Vegeta friend, but once you get that giant ape Vegeta, you're basically good to go. This guy absolutely annihilates this event. Um, the rest of the team can be anything. Obviously, supports um, are a good option just because it allows you to get as much damage out of the giant ape Vegeta as possible, but you can literally like bring two giant ape Vegeta's and then all Cybermen and uh, you'll still be good. Now if you don't have giant ape Vegeta, obviously still go for the friend giant ape Vegeta and then I guess you could still try um, the tech Majin Vegeta even though his damage isn't the greatest but 
if he gets a additional super on the last phase, and if you buff him with uh, you know, the Bulma item as well as a World Tournament Announcer item, then he should still be able to hit hard enough to kill all the robots. Should, it depends on of course the hidden potential investment as well, so um, I can't say for sure, but if you have like a rainbowed Majin Vegeta, any double supers with a Bulma and World Tournament Announcer, then I think, I think that would be enough. But uh, once again, I can't say with 100% confidence, Giant Ape Vegeta though is, uh, is pretty awesome here. So if you only can get one, then you just got to make sure that, you know, you set your team up in a way where on the last phase, or set up your rotations in a way where on the last phase, you have the friend Giant Ape Vegeta on rotation, and then you buff him with the two attack items, and uh, that's still, you know, going to be a pretty uh, solid turn where you're most likely going to be able to kill all the robots. So, um, I've kind of lost track of how many phases we've faced so far. I think, I think this is the fourth phase. But I could be wrong. Either way, uh, we're making some really good progress. I'm actually going to pop a Bulma here. You could just pop a Bulma on turn 1 if you want to, but it's not really necessary with this team right now. Um, I just really need it for, well, honestly, the last phase. Because between phases 1 to 4, Giant Ape Vegeta will be absolutely fine. And yeah, look at that. 7.5 mil attack. 7.5. And if the next phase is phase 5, we'll have my Giant Ape Vegeta, which is not as good as the friend, but still good enough. I think a 55% Giant Ape Vegeta actually is more than good enough. So, yeah, here we go. We are on phase 5. We got the double supports. I'm going to go for... Oh, no, we already got the Bulma effect. My bad. We'll go for the Takoyaki. And that's not bad. Let's go for a second one. We get the full board. We got the full board. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be a pretty fun turn, guys. I'm gonna say we get at least like eight mil attack, maybe even a little bit more than that. Um, it's gonna be overkill. Okay, I was way off. <laughs> I said eight mil, right? I said eight mil. Um, 13 mil is good too. 13 mil is good too. So we definitely did not need the second Takoyaki, but this is fun nonetheless. So that is, whoa! Yo, I did not realize you could actually increase your link levels on this stage. That is interesting. That is interesting. Okay, so tech stage done, no problems whatsoever. And now moving on to the next phase, or sorry, the next stage, which would be versus tech. We're gonna bring our uh, int team here with the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. And as you can see, uh, this was my previous clear. I just did it this morning. Um, I did make one adjustment, which was I swapped out the LR uh, Team Universe 7 for the uh, Krillin and Android 18 because I found that the Team Universe 7 actually wasn't getting their super attack off that often. So this is the setup. I mean, you're mainly going to be focused on the Giant Ape, or sorry, the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta anyways. So... Yeah, I don't think it really matters who else you bring. Obviously, you want to bring some units that hit really hard, like the uh, Super Saiyan Goku. You know, this guy has the Movie Heroes boost as well, so he hits really, really hard here. And then we got the UI Goku. We got this Vegeta slash Goku. And then we got the uh, Krillin and 18, who can hit pretty hard after some supers. So, uh, as far as items go, I'm going to go for the Bulma once again. And then we're also going to bring the Int type. World Tournament Announcer, since he gives in types 30% attack for one turn, and we'll use that for the uh, second last and the last phase in this event. So, uh, actually, can we find a Rainbow SSB Vegeta? That would be ideal. Um, I guess not. I guess not. Uh, this is not the best one. It's not ideal just because he also doesn't have max links or any skill orbs, but 90% is still okay, so I guess we'll still go with this one. Hopefully we'll hit hard enough to actually, you know, kill all the uh, enemy soldiers, or 
hopefully we get my SSB Vegeta, who is, you know, fully maxed out, and uh, he'll definitely be able to do it. But I am a little bit concerned about this friend one right now, if I'm being honest. Okay, so basically, yeah, for the first couple of phases, you will take multiple turns um, to, you know, kill all five soldiers, which is fine, because you get up to... Uh, well, you get between two to three turns, right? Two to three rotations to get it done. So it doesn't really matter right now. Take your time. This one will probably take a little bit longer than some of the other stages where you're just using those attack all units. But uh, the goal is to just get it done, right? So I'll show you guys exactly how, you know, people have been doing it with this team right here. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta has been getting a lot of disrespect, I gotta say, recently. And, uh... You know, this just goes to show people, man, he's still actually very, very useful. <laughs> he's still actually really, really effective. Um, of course, in harder events, he can't struggle defensively, but like, you know, it's okay. I still love this unit, man. I still do. And speaking of slightly older units that are still very, very good, this Super Saiyan Goku as well is a monster. We got lucky there. We got lucky there. So we got a bunch of additionals with the SSBE, and then we also got a couple of additionals with the uh, uh, Goku as well. So we were actually able to, you know, one shot or one turn at the first stage, which is uh, really nice. But you should expect to once again take a couple of turns to beat the first couple of phases. But of course, on the last one, you only have one turn, right? So that's when you use SSB Vegeta's active skill to uh, get the job done. Okay, so I just realized that linking the SSB Vegeta with the Krillin in 18 is not the best idea because um, he doesn't get a lot of attack. He does not get a lot of attack here, so I will have to pair him up with someone else. I'll keep that in mind. That was actually my mistake. But at the same time, we'll be able to build up the Krillin and 18 a little bit. I actually don't think that they're that necessary either on this team. I maybe should have just brought like another support um, or something like that. Probably would have made a lot more sense. So yeah, that might be a better call, guys. Maybe just bring another support or like the uh, LR Team Universe 7 if you have them because they do still hit pretty hard, right? So you got some options. For sure, you definitely got some options. Okay, so let's put Goku there. That's gonna be a guaranteed additional super for him. And then of course, we'll still keep the uh, SSB Vegeta in rotation. And then I think I'ma probably uh, pair the Super Gogeta with the other uh, SSB Vegeta on the other rotation. I think that makes a lot more sense. Krillin and 18 will just be there, you know, providing a little bit of damage if we need to just like finish off one of the enemies that stayed alive but for the most part they're not going to be doing much for us on this team which is why I'm saying like you probably don't need to bring them you could probably get away with just bringing a support to further buff your SSB Vegeta when he does that attack all super or the uh attack all active skill in the last phase okay here we go so that was phase number two moving on to phase three you got to keep track of these things because you know it's important so yeah i'm gonna put ssbe there it's gonna be a full 24k super about a super for the ui and then these guys will get at least two supers with the five plus orbs but they're still not gonna be hitting too hard um at this point because their passive is still fairly unbuilt right like you gotta take i think six supers is it or like use six supers to fully build them up which is going to take some time and we probably won't be able to fully build them up by the time we get to the final phase so yeah they're essentially going to do nothing on this team which is okay which is okay it just goes to show how uh, much of the focus on this team is on the ssb vegeta right so he's definitely going to be doing most of the work here but your other guys that do hit hard like the super gogeta and the uh Super Saiyan Goku will also be playing a pretty major role. Okay, so just to be safe, I'm gonna pop a Bulma item so that we can one-shot all these guys. And yeah, let's give these to SSBE. Let's give those to Goku. Hopefully he gets 
an additional super in case we need it, and then we also got the 18Q super for the exchange Goku and Vegeta too. So we'll finish off one of the robots here, and in theory, um, the Goku and the other Vegeta will also be able to, you know, take out one robot each. But I'm a little bit concerned about the Vegeta at the end. Maybe he'll leave one like slightly alive. So there we go. I was gonna say additional super would have been awesome, and we got it. So it worked out. It worked out. I do think this is the most RNG dependent um, stage out of you know all five. And uh, okay, here we go. So this is the fourth phase, and this is when we're gonna pop the World Tournament announcer and then go for the Vegeta active skill. And I think everyone's dead. Everyone should be dead. Yeah, yeah, that should be more than enough. There we go. And then we got one last phase here and we're gonna pop a second world tournament announcer. Um, I think the Bulma item is still active. Yes, it is. And here we go, guys. Hopefully we get some crits maybe. We oh, actually, you know what? We don't need crits. We do not need crits. I think that is enough damage. And there you have it. And that was the versus tech stage, guys. SSB Vegeta, the MVP of this team with that active skill, which I'll be honest, when I first made the uh, initial video, I forgot <laughs> that he had an AOE active skill. Uh, it's been so long since I've used him that like it just kind of slipped my mind. So Yeah, he's really really useful here. Very very useful here now Moving on to the versus end stage. Let's go for a second LR cell and uh, Hold on, let me switch things out a bit. Let's take out this guy for um, Obviously the fizz world tournament announcer and everything else looks good so hold on maybe I want to use a nuking item instead of the Bulma you know what I think this setup is still fine so we're gonna jump in here and uh, you know obviously same kind of deal with the first run just use the Fizz LR cell to take out everything uh, I will be popping a Bulma to start because we have 10 turns worth of uh, Bulma with the two items right so here we go. Let's give a 12 key super to the cell since he only attacks all on the 12 key. Um, as I said, Raditz will be really effective here. In fact, I probably should have put Raditz in the first slot because he gets the guaranteed crits with uh, with the hit. So that's my bad. But it doesn't really matter this early on in the stage. And if we manage to get both Raditz and Cell on the last stage, that would be absolutely perfect because the combined supers from those two units will uh you know no doubt take out all of the robots um if we only have the one lr cell then i would be slightly concerned but even then i don't think there's much to be worried about because we haven't used a world tournament announcer yet and actually i can get two attack all units a rotation if I get the LR Broly there um, to the other rotation so yeah either way we should be good to go either way we should be good to go with one LR cell and one attack all in either the Raditz or the Fizz Broly on both rotations um, yeah we'll be just fine so this is the setup this actually might rival the versus HDL stage or sorry the uh, versus Fizz stage with the like LR Broly, right? As like the easiest one if you have, of course, the right attack all units, right? But yeah, as you can see, we are absolutely mowing down these robots here. I don't really even know which phase we're on at this point. This might be the fourth? No, it's the third phase, no. Have you one shot every phase so far? If so, then this would be the fourth phase, right? So there's only one left then. I think there's only one left, guys. Yeah. Yeah, we only have three charges here, so this is the last one. We have no supports here, but I don't think it really matters. I'm gonna go for another... Oh, we still have the Bulma. I'm gonna go for our World Tournament Announcer. 
and that's gonna be a super for Raditz. I'm gonna get uh, a nice super for the cell, and we got this. That is that. That is that. We haven't seen Raditz attack at all yet, but as you guys will see, he does hit pretty hard here. We're getting... Wait, what? Hold on, I saw him get a much higher attack stat before. Maybe... Oh, you know what? Maybe he was linked up with the AGL Turles. With like the links and the support, that would have made a bigger difference. Well, either way, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, there was definitely another uh, run where I saw Raditz get like 4 or 5 mil attack, you know what I mean? But I think there's some condition that I didn't satisfy here that I'm completely forgetting about right now. Um, as you guys can tell, I don't use Raditz that much, so I clearly have forgotten about how his passive works. But that's not important right now. What's important is that we were able to actually clear this stage in five turns, which is uh, pretty sweet. So we got two more versus STR with the AGL team, and hopefully we can find a... Majin Vegeta friend. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's the team versus SDR. I'm gonna go for Extreme AGL. There is the Majin Vegeta friend, and in this case, I will actually go for some nuking items just because Majin Vegeta needs that uh, 18 key super, right, for the attack all. So let's go for a Chi Lai and a. Uh, Lemo as well, why not? Okay, so two nuking items for the Majin Vegeta's just to ensure that we are able to get that 18, 18 key super um, every single time. And yeah, same kind of deal. If you guys have seen the other runs, then you can't, you won't really be surprised about the strategy we're employing here. Uh, for the first couple of runs, actually, or rather the first couple of phases, we don't really need Majin Vegeta. For its 18k super, so I'm gonna save it. The Nappa and Vegeta will be able to take care of this first phase at least very, very easily. And then for the second phase, hopefully the orbs work out or we get some nice support. Uh, let's see. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we get an 18k super without using any of the nuking items, so we can save them for the next couple of phases. And Majin Vegeta here will be. Uh, good to go, I think, with the double supports. 4.6, that seems like enough. That seems like enough. And it is. In fact, that's enough damage to actually kill the, the robots in the last phase too. So now we have um, an interesting turn. I'm not sure if Nappa and Vegeta actually will hit hard enough to um, kill all the robots. So just to be safe, I'ma pop, hmm, let's pop a Lemo. I'll save the Chi Lai. There we go. Okay, that's an 18 key super. And uh, we still have three of the nuking items. Like I said in the last video though, if you don't like the result you get from one of the nuking items, like your Chi Lai Lemo, Deborah cookie, so on and so forth, then you can just reset the game and use the item again. And oftentimes you'll get a different result. It'll actually change different orbs. So sometimes you might only get like two orbs changed and then you reset the game, you come back and you can actually get like the full board or at least like half the board, right? So if you got the patience and uh, you wanna do a few resets, then you can definitely go for that. Okay, so we are in very good shape, guys. Um, this is the second last phase. And Majin Vegeta with these double supports again will probably clear the board. And then we have just the last phase where we can pop, you know, up to three nuking items and, uh, you know, take, take out everyone with no issues whatsoever. So let's see. Um... Yeah, okay, let's change some orbs first. Let's go for a Chilai here. And that was a couple, but nothing crazy. Go for a second one. That should be more than enough. It really should. And, uh... 
I mean, I guess I'll like just give an 18k super to these guys. I don't think they'll get to attack either way. So it doesn't really matter. It would have been nice to have the insurance of maybe an attack all there, but since we're getting 8.5 mil with the Majin Majita, we're we're fine. <laughs> we're totally fine. So that was the versus STR stage, guys. We're four for four so far. And uh, now we just got this last, you know, versus Fizz stage with the STR LR Broly. And like I said, that is by far the easiest of the five runs or the five stages if you have STR LR Broly. And even if you don't have STR LR Broly, having a friend STR LR Broly is still really, really useful. So. Um, we're not gonna use the nuking items here because obviously we want STR Broly to get a 12 key super So we're just gonna go for the attack uh, attack increase items like the Bulma and also the world tournament announcer there even though Broly honestly hits so hard with uh, his double super guarantee or guaranteed double supers That you don't really need the attack boost like the attack boost is not even Necessary if I'm being honest, but let's just go for it because You know because we can and uh, if you guys haven't seen the initial video that I made then uh, You're in for a For a fun show. So here we go guys double Broly action with the Bulma item uh, getting just over three mil with a friend and You know we do get the second super which we probably won't see until we get to the fifth phase because up until that point, we'll basically just be one-shotting all these robots. Oh, never mind. Okay, so the unfortunate thing is that we didn't get the uh, other LR Broly on this rotation, so it's gonna take us a little bit longer than it usually has to. Well, it's not a big deal. I guess we'll just sit here for an extra minute or so while we watch LR Cooler do his thing. Um, I was kind of hoping, <laughs> I was kind of hoping for five supers, and he just like kills everyone by himself, which would have been awesome. Um, of course, if you have LR Broly, or sorry, if you have a uh, LR Final Form Cooler, then he's a good unit to bring not only as a leader, but because he has the potential to super up to five times. So as far as attack all units go, or rather multi super units go, he is one of the best to bring too, right, for this event. Okay, so we now have both the Brolies on one rotation, so of course we'll take one out here. And, uh, hold on. If I... Okay, let's put the Turlis there so we can get a super off for the Broly. There we go. And we'll be able to move on to the third phase, I believe. It's a little bit annoying that the rotations work out this way because if we had both Brolies, like one Broly on each rotation to start the event, then we would have been able to essentially just one shot every single phase, right? But because we got the uh, you know other Broly, the friend Broly, or I guess it was my Broly, on the third rotation, it's now going to take us a lot longer than it has to, just because of the uh, rotations being out of order. But it's okay. It's okay, we're almost done here. Uh, like I said, guys, hopefully, you know, watching this video has helped you a little bit. Um, my general strategy, you know, is the same, except I did fix my teams a bit, and uh, I actually didn't really have a sound strategy for the, oh my god, the boost that <laughs> uh, Cooler gets here is actually even bigger than I thought. Is normals doing 12 mil is kind of wild but um, yeah uh, as I was saying in the initial video right I didn't have like a super sound strategy for uh, versus versus tech with the int team like I was just going to literally try the uh, int raditz free to play in raditz for attack all and I, I did try that a couple times and it just didn't work you know until i realized why am i not using ssb vegeta's active skill right so i did that and uh you know it was a pretty pretty chill run from there so 
yeah, these are the teams. This is the strategy. These are the items I've been using as well. Not always using two nuking, nuking items, but rather, you know, going between... Uh, oh, hold on. I don't want to give all those STR orbs to Broly. I do kind of want to see, actually, what LR Cooler can do with the active skill. So I'm going to pop the World Tournament announcer there. We still have the Bulma. We don't, so we got the Bulma now. And with the active skill, we're doing 86 million damage. <laughs> oh man, that's insane. Um, instead of letting Broly just like take all the shine, why don't we... Uh, why don't we let LR Cooler... Yeah, why don't we let LR Cooler and the uh, other OG STR Cooler do some stuff too, see what they can do, and then... You know, whatever cleanup that needs to be done at the end, LR Broly will finish the job. So here is OG SDR Cooler doing a bunch of damage with his super attack. And then the additional doing some good damage too, 2 mil. And then we have <laughs> STR Cooler getting 20 mil attack, that's cool. That's alright. And hitting for 71 mil. Uh huh. Additional super at 13 mil. Of course, this is with attack boosting items, right? So he's not usually hitting this hard. He does hit very hard, normally, but not this hard. And the normal should, yeah, there, there we go. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I was like, the normal's gonna do 10 mil plus easily. So we didn't even need STR Broly there. So once again, guys, um, having just the friend Broly is enough. Obviously, if you can bring like an STR Cooler 2, OG Cooler, like the TUR one, um, those are great options. And then from there, it's kind of funny how we took the longest with the versus fist stage, even though it's technically the easiest. Um, from there, you know, just bring some attack boosting items and uh, you're good to go. So that is the video, guys. Um, I know it's quite long, but I wanted to just show you guys my runs for all five stages. And uh, I wish you guys the best of luck once again. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully... Um, you gained something useful from watching this video, and uh, that's it. That's all I gotta say. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video, signing out.